Hello and welcome, I'm Scott Snyder from Banished Woodworking, and today I'm going to be showing you how to resize and uh, print scroll saw patterns that are PDFs and some basic uh, editing stuff using Inkscape. So we're on inkscape.org right now. Inkscape is a free and open source vector graphics editor. So it's similar to Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw. It's just free. So we'll open that up right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Documents, Document Properties. Now it's set up here all in uh, millimeters. I want to change that to inches for the display units and the units. And I want to select the page size as US letter. And we can close that out. So right now we're looking at this box here, which is the sheet of paper. So we can edit on the outside and the inside, but it will only print things inside this box. All right. So we're going to come up to File. We're going to Import. I am going to select PDF here, just so you don't have to stare at all the files on my computer. And here we go. Um, once again, this is another uh, Steve Good pattern. And it is a bunch of animal silhouettes with stands underneath. And I would like to print out and resize a bunch of sheep. I'm going to make some sheep cuttings. So we imported that. And you can see it's the whole page. So it's a seal and the sheep together. We'll import another page. Just so we have some more stuff to play with. Um, we'll print this page out here. We'll import that page. Click OK. And there we go. Now you can see when we click on the boxes, they're all tied together per page. So I just want the sheep, so I'm going to click on this. It has them both selected. I'm coming up to Object, and I'm going to Ungroup. So we'll click that. Now I'm just going to click where there's nothing. Now I select the sheep. He's all by himself. Click on the uh, seal. He's by himself. Um, so once again, click on the group. Come up to object and ungroup. So they're all separate. You know, if you get things exactly where you want them, you can select them all and group them together. But we're not going to be doing that today. I'm just going to zoom in on the bottom right. Right now we're at 35%. I'll bring it up to about 70, 71. So we got the page in here. So I'm going to be making multiple sheep, and I want to resize them all. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the sheep to the bottom right-hand corner. To do that, we're going to be coming up to the top here. The X coordinates, we're going to make 0. And the Y, we're going to be making 0. So he's home now. He's in the bottom, bottom left-hand corner. That's where he's going to stay. Um, if I'm going to resize him, I'm going to come up and I'm going to put this lock on. Click that on. Now when I change the dimensions up here with the width, I want him 4 inches wide. It adjusts the height accordingly. Um, you can also come down here. Use that arrow. It'll keep, uh, keep him the right uh, dimensions. Um, if you click here, not so much. You can make him into a dachshund sheep. I'm just going to click Control z to remove that. Or you can make him really tall. But to keep the proportions the same, either use the arrow or come up to the top here and put in the size you want. So we're happy with 3 inches. Now I'm thinking I'm going to try to save some toner. Um... If you want to save ink and toner and not print this gray area out, I mean, it's pretty pretty clear where you need to drill your holes on this guy. So I'm going to come up to Object and click on Fill and Stroke. There we go. Select the sheep. Now, the fill, right now it's gray. If you move these sliders around, you can make them any color you want to. But we're just going to hit the X. Now he's see-through. And um, since we're in these properties here, the stroke paint is uh, the line. So if we change the red, he's got a red line instead of a black line. And uh, there's also stroke style. It can do a bunch of things. But if we talk about the width, um, it's the width of the line. Right now it's at 0.6. 
well, it's at 0 0.006. If we make it uh, 0 0.01, if you look at the sheep, the line is a little bit thicker. I mean, we can we can go crazy on that. Um, 0 0.05. Um, I'm going to bring it back down to 0 0.06. 0 0.006. There we go. So that's a good size. So we're happy with the sheep. We're happy with the size. I'm just going to click that off. Um, so now we want to put multiple um, patterns onto one sheet so we're not uh, wasting a bunch of paper. So he selected. We're going to come up and click Edit, Duplicate, which is Control D. So now the duplicate is sitting on top of the original. And you could just grab him and move him around with the mouse. I'm going to be using the arrow key. So I'm hitting the right arrow. And that'll just scooch him over. So we know he's sitting 0, 0. He's all the way down on the bottom. And uh, we're going to want to duplicate these two. So I'm going to make a box, left click over both of them. So they're both selected. I'm going to kick Control D for duplicate. Now instead of using the mouse, I'm going to come up and I'm going to start moving the X. I'm just going to start, no, nope, not the X, the Y. And uh, start moving them up a little bit quicker. There we go. We got four. I'm going to select them all. Control D again to duplicate. I'm going to use the arrow again. So there we go. So we got eight of them on a single sheet of paper. Um, if you want to start filling in the area, I can show you how to uh, flip things around. So here's my duck. I'm going to move them over. Now I'm going to come to the upper left hand corner. So you can rotate that duck counterclockwise or you can rotate him clockwise. You can uh, flip him horizontally here and flip him vertically here. So let's say we're happy with that. We'll squish him in. Um, if you want him up and down, we can flip him back. And then we can just fill in the rest of this area here. You know, we can, we can save this or we can just print it and uh, we'll have our multiple sheep uh, and a duck. <laughs> So if that's what you're shooting for, multiple sheep and a duck, I'm actually going to do a file. I'm going to print. And I'll send that to my printer because I actually I am going to be cutting these out. So print them. Um, so we can uh, select all this stuff. And I can show you how to uh, move one around if you want to make it larger. So there we go. So now we have one single sheep. Uh, we'll flip them sideways so he can fill up that paper a little bit better. Um, let's make his width, um, let's go 10, 10 inches. And then we'll just drag him in place. Um, actually, the height has to be 10, so he fits in there. Now well, you get the idea. So there you go. And then he's ready to print. Um, this has been just a very basic tutorial. Um, once you import your PDF into this uh, into Inkscape, um, it is fully editable. Um, I just kind of want to keep it simple here, um, but I can give you a little little teaser here. So, you you like the sheep? We can go to the node button here. Select them again. So these are all his nodes. Um, he's got his ear here. Um, let's give him a horn. So we'll move this over. Move that one over. There you go. So now we have a yoon, a you, a, a corn, you a corn. Yeah. Anyways, simple tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. I thought I'd keep it real simple. Um, we're not really getting into any major editing here, just how to print stuff out. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you absolutely hate it, feel free to give it a thumbs down and uh, feel free to leave questions, comments, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I gotta figure out how to shut the... I never turned it on!